Libra, oh Libra, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra for the month of April 2019? Yes, I'm tardy to the party, honey. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, y'all. I have some shit going on. But, back. And I will be doing mid-month, so we gonna rock this thing on out, alright? Um, hey, boo, hey, it's first time you on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. All right? Um, this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers of, of well, for the sign of Libra. Okay? Um, if this is your first time, I'm sorry. This is your first time to my channel and you're welcoming and I'm welcoming you to the family. Come on, welcome on in. We are the dysfunctional. We don't fight, we don't fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? We love, we share, we enlighten, we grow. We one big happy family, okay? Um, To my returning subscribers, family, we pushing through this shit. We pushing through this shit. And I'm actually have to get um, y'all worth the flag because I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but this, when I was really meditating on the energy of Libra, y'all, I felt so many ways. Um, and so I'm praying that this reading doesn't get emotional, but if it should, fuck it, we family, you know, vulnerability is the, the, the new naked is the new abundance. Okay. That's our truth is where our blessings come from. All right. So with that said, you guys, um, this is not a personal, it is a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description box below. Okay. I'm extra as fuck. Y'all know I'm an Aries, but Extra, extra, extra. All right. So with that said, you guys, uh, please take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit if it don't fit, because if that motherfucker's too big, you're gonna fall. All right. So don't try and make, don't take what, if take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. You guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you all. Um, I didn't want to have the long spiel with Libra, uh, but this is what I this is what I heard, y'all. I heard the heard the actual song when I was uh, meditating on the energy, and the lady who sings this is Lettucey, and she is um, an Aries as well, y'all. But this, when I say I have a Libra rising, so when I say this shit here hit home. It hit home. I know I'm going to get flagged, y'all. This is I do not own the rights to this music, okay? So let me go and say that now. But we rocking because it's worth it. Y'all family, and I, I don't mind getting flagged. You worth the flag, okay? Let's roll. This is what I heard, you guys. Then I'm going to give you your intuitive messages. Oh, damn. When you don't expect no uh, <laughs> when you don't expect no answer, come on first. Shit on, not leaving. Close your eyes. Listen to what she said. I cried, Libra. Pieces of me, okay? You guys, I felt the energy of brokenness, but finding strength in brokenness. And you guys, that was so powerful because that's been my entire life. So we're going beyond talking to Libra. We're going to feel Libra today, okay? Let's rock. Okay. The intuitive messages that I got for the sign of Libra for the month of April. Okay. You guys, I received awakenings, synchronicities, astrology, business success, 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Realizations. Life path. Reflection. Overextending. Codependent. Narcissist. Healing. New vision. Airy Sag Leo. Abundance. Shifts. Manipulation. Divine intervention. Empath. Jealousy. Travel. New love. Twin flame. Fear of the unknown. Allowing. Past life. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Dreams. Okay. So if any of the intuitive messages did resonate with you guys, let's talk about it. Let's feel about it. All right. You guys, this angel message um, comes from Archangel Chamuel. And I never noticed how much blue energy is around, but a lot of y'all may be seeing a lot of blue. Uh, for those of you who can see auras, you guys may be seeing a lot of blue during this time. And I feel like it has to do with healing. Blue is all uh, it's about the throat chakra. So some of you all could be receiving or speaking truths or um, actually delivering truths that um, are going to bring you peace as well as this sense of like a resurrection as well as the sense of like healing okay but i feel like it's 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 like a double-edged sword in a good way okay so the message that you guys got was beloved one archangel chamuel i am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship okay all right so i definitely feel like a lot of you all um, are in this place where you may feel like, you know, um, well, who, you know, who is there that's going to understand me? Who is it that I can run to? Because I also heard escape when I was uh, actually uh, shuffling your cards. Who can I run to to fill this empty space? Who can I run to when I need love? Okay. Who can you run to when you need love? All right. So. Libra, a lot of you all are going to be, again, that blue in this place of healing, okay? For some of you all, you may be in this place of manifesting things with alchemic symbols. Some of you all are going to, some of you all are actually dreaming, um, dreaming of some sort of, some sort of synchronization of, it's like a synchronization, but it's like time into this life as well as past life. So some of you all may also be receiving the gift of like premonitions or some premonitory visions, okay, during this time. And I feel like it's coming from a place of having a, tele a telepathic connection with someone, but it's actually strengthening because you and this other person could be on a journey of healing, okay, as well as a journey of moving towards your soul path in divine time. And for some of you all, this definitely has to do with some form of union, past life union, twin plane union. For some of you all, some of you all, it's about divine time. And for some of you all, there could be someone, someone, some circumstance that could have come in to trigger, okay, um, trigger some type of healing or trigger some type of healing in the month of April. OK, I definitely feel like for some of you all, you have this all knowing that you're not saying anything during this time. And spirit is saying that is your way. That is your way of playing it safe. However, you're going through this. Um, whatever it is that you're healing from, I feel as if it's going to bring you great abundance later because it's, 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 it's a sense of like paying it forward that I'm feeling like you're going to be assisting others in that same healing, okay, in divine timing, but it was about divine timing to actually activate this heart chakra for some of you all. Some of you all, you have an ancestor that is, um, that could be a brother. Could also be an uncle, I heard. This person is assisting you in moving toward um, to, towards your soul journey or moving through your soul journey. I feel like whomever this person is, this person is assisting you with weaving things, weaving things into alignment, weaving, weaving into alignment, weaving things into alignment um, in the way in which they're supposed to go. OK, for some of you all, OK, you are during this time, there may be some circumstances or situations that um require you to see things, you know, that you may not have wanted to see, rather about yourself or another person. Uh, this retrograde in Pisces definitely, this has been the most impactful as well as the most intense because it definitely, bought, it was about illuminating the shadow side of people in which needed to be surfaced in order for them to heal, acknowledge, okay? So for some of you all, this is about you taking off, taking off your mask, okay, and seeing things, taking, and so for some of you all, this is about, 
demat be with demasking or unmasking another person okay and i feel like for some of you all these were things that you did not want to see okay but you're forcing yourself to see them in order to truly heal from them okay for some of you all some of y'all have a connection with thunder some of you all may actually move into a space in the month of April where you're willing to embrace your actual heritage, embrace your ancestry, embrace your um your spiritual gifts. Some of you all, some of you all, some of you all can actually manipulate the weather with your emotions. So there is a need for you all to ground them and learn how to hone that ability in a healthy way because I definitely feel like some of you all, some of you all hide behind, you've been hiding behind a smile. And not really acknowledging the hurt yet, working through it and continuously overextending and, and, and overly compromising yourself. And I feel like for some of you all, you're realizing that you can't heal with some of the things that is broken. You You can't heal holding all that damn weight. So for some of you all, you may be seeing a lot of dragonflies during this time. Some of you all may be also finding feathers. And it's really your divine, your divine guidance, as well as your angels, your ancestors, assisting you and letting you know that you are never alone. As you walk into this new life cycle, okay? For some of you all, this is about purity. This is about a rebirth, a resurrection. But you're going to have to actually feel, know, be in tune with the hurt in order to truly find, appreciate, and be grateful for the light in which it, for the light in which it brought your life. It's a lesson in every blessing, baby. And for some of you all, it's about perception, how you perceive things, okay? For some of you all... Again, your shadow self, your perception. Do you immediately assume defeat? I mean, do you, know, do you immediately assume defeat when things are not going in your favor? Or do you immediately see the negative aspects of things? For some of you all, you're overextending your light to someone's fucking dark ass energy. And I feel like you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it because you see yourself as a protector to someone. However, Reality is, this has been a prevention from you healing. And for some of you all, for you actually walking in your light and shining in your light through you not being able to see through the smoke and mirrors, baby. Some of you all, there's some of y'all actually, this month, a lot of you all with this white, this blue. Some of you all uh, could possibly be connecting with crystals. For those of you who use crystals, sapphire will be very helpful for you during this time. So will adventure ring, rose quartz for the heart chakra, as well as amethyst for a lot of you all. Again, that light and sucks, but that amethyst, okay? For some of you all who do use, um, for those of you all who are manifesting um some type of vision or for those of you who are actually honing some type of premonitory visions that you're that you're going to be receiving some of y'all got a massive ass download that's actually going to bring you another spiritual ability and i feel like in order for you to hone that you'll find comfort in using the stone of amethyst that stone does bring you balance it is for it, is, it does represent intuition as well as um it assists you and also with the perception okay Look it up, y'all, because Google is free. All right. Don't get me because it's, it's so much information, but I'm trying to receive the actual messages for the sign of Libra. Some of you all hold the power to healing situations, circumstances in your hands. However, it's how you choose to see it. Some of you all are choosing to see things with only love during this time. A lot of you all may be connecting to fairies in the month of April as well. These fairies will be assisting you in manifesting this abundance, this newfound abundance after this period of healing and purging, as well as acceptance of both the light aspects of yourself as well as the shadows. Because both are beautiful. They both inspire something beautiful, motivate something beautiful, and will push you forward to share their beauty and assist others in healing. Some of you all also have a connection to... Um, to dragons i definitely feel like for some of you all there is going to be some type of realization through some form of like a dream for some of you all this also has to do with astro traveling to different realms 
for some, for, for greater understanding of how to jumpstart your purpose here within the 3D, like how to align what you've already aligned in the 5D here within the 3D? Some of you all are ruby. Ruby. The color red, ruby. Red is going to be your color this month. Red turn heads. I think I just told Virgo that. Red turn heads, baby. Get it popping. Red also um, is also an attraction attract uh, an attraction to abundance, baby. So it's green, which is why I'm seeing all of this green energy. Some of you all also may have some type of uh, some of you all may come into union with someone during this time, and whoever this is, someone is sending. You guys may receive some type of help from some type of woman that is going to assist you in shifting your perception and how you see certain things in your life. To see them again through that spectrum of love that brings you balance, abundance, and momentum movement forward. For some of you all, in order to truly see change, you have to want to see the dirty, the dirty aspects of things, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, these dreams as well as premonitions are going to assist you in shifting your perception. Because y'all gotta understand we come here, we come here with an we come here with an assignment, okay? And sometimes that assignment is uncomfortable, but sometimes the unveiling, there's a there's a sense of an unveiling during this time for the sign of Libra. And this unveiling is going to bring a death. For some of you all, this is actually the death. The death of an old structure, the death of the old way of doing things, the death of how you see things, the death of how you look at things, the death of how you, how much shit you give your emotions to. Is it healthy? Is it worth it? And how does it assist you in your personal growth? Libra is all about the we. You guys are the skills, the balance of things. This new moon in Aries is going to assist you all. And obtaining some of that selfish energy. And it sometimes and most times it is okay to be selfish. Because in being selfish, can you see the bigger picture? How does this assist me in growing? When the only thing you know is bullshit. And the bullshit that you've acquired has been over has been from overextending, overgiving, and you end up taking the L. Try something different to get something different. And this is about seeing things with new eyes. Seeing things from a whole different perspective. And understanding that, yeah, we cannot change people. We cannot change the way that they act. We can't change the way that they respond. We can't even make them feel us the way that the intensity of the things that we feel. But we can control our actions and act the fuck accordingly. So what the fuck we mean when we set those boundaries. I feel like some of you all. There has been some of you all are coming to the realization of you've literally literally been trying to bring this abundance to situations. Pretty much some of y'all been trying to give bring abundance to dead people, period. And I mean dead because I feel there's a sense of. Libra being up here as far as the need to know, the want to know, the will to know, the acceptance, the compromise, the structure, and someone being down here and continuously needing a motherfucking rope to pull me up, Libra, pull me up. But every time you pull them up, Libra, you're coming down. You're coming down. You're coming down. And then you eventually see this person like this now. And you're like, pull me up. And they like, but you way down there. Death. Rebirth, renewal, restructure. Reevaluating. Rebirths. A res of fucking erection. That is ultimately going to bring you the outcome of abundance. And for some of you all that are going to do so, with himself. And then can you focus on the week around this abundance? Again, some of you all have a very strong connection and tie to dragons, okay? For some of you all, you may be seeing synchronicities of white birds. 
And for some of you all, I'm hearing that they actually may come in synchronicities of three, signaling expansion, but a, a expansion and purity. And for some of you all, this could literally be a birth. Okay. For some of you all, this is just the rebirth, the love and the respect of self and the light that lies within the self. For it is not lost, but it is shining brighter than the damn diamond and the darkest minds. Some of you all could be in a place where you, some of y'all could be switching or changing your diet during this time. Some of you all, um, some of you all in connecting with nature. Some of you all may be seeing rabbits, which actually signifies some form of fertility, something being born, something being birthed. Some of you all may be planting or starting your, like planting your own gardens. For some of you all, you have some type of ancestry, some type of ancestor or some type of uh, your angels are guiding you and protecting you because you have a prophecy to fulfill around dragons. But for some of you all, you're going to be coming to this enlightenment. Again, the self. Have y'all noticed that everybody, all these depictions, okay, of these messages are... The people are singular. Have you noticed that? Sometimes it's great. You, you, you find greater abundance in focusing on the self. Because when you respect how yourself feel, you don't put yourself through shit no more. Respect the triggers. Appreciate them. Be in gratitude. Embrace them. And heal what it is that is within you. To prevent them from being in control of you. Because ultimately when you do that, there's greater abundance here. Okay? Some of you all possibly could be healing the situation possibly with uh, your father, the father of your children. And this is divinely guided as well as protected for some of you all so that you can release and move forward. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of frogs. And some of y'all need to take better care of your health. Because I feel like giving to overextending to other people has put you in this state of. Some of y'all just forgot about yourself. Some of you could be healing a relationship with your father during this time, which is going to also bring you in abundance. And you guys know abundance come in many forms. Health, wealth, prosperity just depends on how you see abundance, what abundance is to you. But this is definitely having to do with the soul contract to move you forward, propel you forward on your journey. But again, before you're propelled forward on this journey, baby, you got to cover all the dark aspects of yourself and others to make a free will choice of who moves forward with you into that motherfucking light. Because you fall in love with both aspects of yourself and you know how to maneuver accordingly. We need to. We need be. You know how to recognize accordingly. Because I've been there, done there, got the motherfucking t shirt. Boo. Okay? And for some of you all, this could have to do, again, this is having to do with the soul contract. As above, so below. Balancing things between the heavens and the earth. You are the scales. Some of you all, this could have to do with a Taurus, a Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn is here, Aries is here. Evening the scales. So trust yourself. Trust what you feel. But also be willing to see two sides to every spectrum. Because things that you may see as a damn distraction or things that you may see as something negative could actually be something bringing you something positive, a blessing in disguise. 
just depends. It just depends on how you perceive it, which is why you got to fall in love with both sides of yourself. Okay. All right, so that is the spirit message that I have for you all. Let's dig into this love for a Libra. Love for a Libra. Oh, girl. Take it to the love for a leave. The love for a leave. Right? So, what messages do you have for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra? Okay? Okay, some of you guys feel, some of you guys in the month of April may feel, um, some of y'all feel stuck to a Pisces who drink too damn much. I feel like you view this person as a soulmate. Okay, for some of you all, some of y'all just feel stuck giving to a situation or giving to someone who just really doesn't recognize your light. Okay, this could have to do with the Virgo. Yep, let me see. For some of you all, you're pulling back in this midst of solitude and just seeing things for what they are. And for some of you all, this is going to propel you to take a major leap of faith and move forward. And go get Go get, go get, go get your blessings, okay? For some of you all, this could be a situation where you feel entrapped or stuck in, okay? Give it, continuously given to a situation with someone who has codependent issues, okay? This could definitely be a soulmate matter. It's not the sign. I feel like for some of you all, you're pulling back during this time. You're pulling back and you're just really shining your light on situations that has dimmed that light before. Some of you guys could be feeling left out or feeling some of you guys could be shining the light on a situation involving um, a Virgo and Aries with this food card here. Pisces with this hangman. For some of you all, you're releasing yourself from a soulmate relationship and taking that leap of faith and moving forward because you know what it is that you deserve. For some of you all, you want commitment. Okay. For some of you all, this could involve a tourist person as well. Some of you guys could also be signing legalities or contracts, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with like leases or some type of assets or like assets that are tied, okay? In some form of commitment. For some of you all, you come into the realization that, you know what, I want commitment. I want this structure. However, you could be dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I got the Knight of Pentacles here on this uh Hierophant card. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo. And I feel like you feel that things are just moving entirely too slow. I feel like you move, you feel that things are moving too slow. And ultimately, you know that this is what could be had. You know that you could have this abundance in this union, okay? If you and this person were to commit or, and if this is have to do with a business deal, some of you guys could have been uh, slowly moving towards some type of business with some, with, business connection with someone, I definitely feel that it is going to be abundant. For those of you uh, who are signing new contracts during this time for a new business, it is going to be abundance. Come on, come on, come on, Flourish Libra. Come on, Flourish Libra. But for some of you all, this has to do with an equal give and take. Before things can move forward, things have to be equally given and taken. For some of you all, this could have to do with the earth sign where you feel like this person does not give equally it does not equally well pretty much does not give equally to your relationship as much as you do and you're just shedding the light on this shit some of you all could be um, married to a Virgo Capricorn Taurus I feel like some of you all want to take a leap of faith however again you you feel like you're connected I'm sorry you're connected to this person you can't make a move so this is causing you to feel stuck which could be causing you or another person to overindulge or get in this woe is me, oh, I can't do it, this victimized ass energy. Somebody here is a victim. And we get some realizations of who the fuck the victim is. Again, some of you guys are them fairies, baby. The light. Some of you guys are working with fairies to assist you guys in manifesting abundance, all right? You're building. Some of you all, you have a life path around children. For those of you who are stuck on, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Some of y'all have a life path around children. For some of you all, this is regarding a reconciliation, okay? Or a third party situation. 
Some of you guys could also be meeting with someone with two other people in the month of April. I feel like there's some type of like peace treaty, peace agreement or some sort. This could involve a Leo. Some of you guys could be reconciling with a Leo or having a Leo want to reconcile with you. But this person is bringing you third party energy. And I feel like as much as you love this person, you won't allow them to make you feel in last place anymore because you're already working on doing that inner work. You step back from the situation to allow your new beginning. For some of you all, you're reconciling with a Leo or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and there is a new beginning. I feel like the advice here is to move slowly, okay, and don't move too fast. Uh, for some of you all, you could be reconciling with someone that is younger than you. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could also be someone who has some type of connection to water goddesses. Some of you may be connected to water goddesses during this time. And some of you all are really needing to get out near a big body of water during the next full moon in April, okay? Some of you guys are walking away from a deceitful person, okay? Some of you all could also be walking away from someone just to transform. I feel like you see how this woman is walking away? Half of her leg is a damn mermaid. Half of her leg is a beast. The other half of her is human form. She looks hurt and disappointed, okay? And this man is asleep. He's sleeping on her. You telling the motherfucker during this time, don't sleep on me because I'm transforming right in front of your fucking face with your deceptive ass. And you so damn sleep that you still want to hold on to your bullshit, hold on to not being vulnerable, hold on to not opening up, hold on to secrets and deception and lies and this feeling of making me feel as if I'm doing something wrong. Ultimately, <laughs> some of you guys are moving forward. That is change. Some of you guys, you're realizing in order to change my circumstance, in order to change my path and my reality, I have to change something within myself. So for some of you are you're dealing with someone where there's a resistance to let go. It's like giving to um, giving, giving a whole lot, whole lot to somebody who just want to give a little bit, give a little bit for their comfort. But it's kind of like. You're feeling as if, well, damn, why do I got to keep taking the fucking inflictions in the midst of all of these changes? I tell you what, I, I got your change, all right? I'm going to change. I'm going to move forward. Some of you guys are moving forward right into a Pisces. Some of y'all moving forward right into a Cancer. Some of y'all is a damn Leo. Some of y'all is Aries. Some of y'all is a Virgo. But for some of you all, you're moving forward. You're leaving things behind that you've been holding on to that is burdensome to you. I'm already feeling alone. Why am I holding on to this shit? Too little, too late. This shit is fucking heavy. It's 10 of them. 10 whole fucking ones. I got to go. So that I can heal. And find my true love. Someone who communicates upright with me. I got a king and queen of swords with a king of cups here. For some of you all, this could be the mother or father of your children. I got to move forward. I got to heal. I got to do this for me. Because if I don't think about me, who will? Who can I run to when I need love? Cutting this shit short. For some of you all, this is healing a relationship possibly with the water sign. But this had to happen. I feel like some of you all are removing yourself from catalytic situations with soulmates from past lives. In which you couldn't release, the, you couldn't let this person go. In the past life or vice versa. There's a lessons around resistance. Self-love. Self-worth. Your power. And what you fucking deserve. Some of you all are coming to a mutual agreement that you're going to be cutting off another Gemini Libra Aquarius. But I feel like this is clear cut communication with your next partner. This is what I want. This is him saying this is what I want. This is she saying, I've been through some shit, but I'm going to trust you with my heart. This is what I want. And I feel like for some of you all, Libra, baby, it's death. I feel like strong energy, even though this is the king of swords, I feel strong energy of this water connection. And it's written in the stars, baby. Some of you guys are manifesting it. You manifested this under the stars. You manifested healing in a soulmate relationship or healing moving forward to the soulmate relationship that is. Potentially a life partner for some of you all. For some of you all, this is a life partner slash business partner. 
and it does look to be very successful. However, it's about people being authentic within their truths and telling somebody, I'm not going to allow you to keep loving me like a child. For this month, you guys, Selenite, because I've seen it in two or three of your cards. So, And it's ironically that when I was doing your reading, I actually felt to pick up my Selenite one. I got 55 degrees of Libra up in here, okay? So for some of you all, this will assist you in giving you that mental clarity that you need. As well as that amethyst and that adventuring and that pink, that rose quartz in order to heal. But I definitely feel like some of you all are just coming out of this disillusion state. You see this shit? Yeah, she actually is tied to the shit. But I feel like with her, she got a whole stick in her mouth. She can spit that shit out and call for help if she truly feels stuck. But it's feel like she's not speaking. She's not speaking. She's just choosing to sit here and disillusion it. And I feel like someone on the outskirts is saying every fucking thing they want to say to her, talking reckless, all kind of shit, ultimately bashing her for feeling as if I want to eat all them fucking fish. I want all my, I want my just do. I've put in my work. I deserve this. So for some of you all, this person could be stalking you. You could be stalking this person. There's the energy of someone watching someone move forward or waiting, waiting to waiting for the I feel like this is the waiting for the perfect time to cut somebody ass to move forward and make a judgment. It's definitely judgment season. For some of you all, this could involve an Aries. You are another person that's extremely intuitive. Some of y'all are making a making a judgment. For some of you all, oh, for some of you all, some of y'all intuitively know that someone is being, some someone is manipulative, but what they don't know is that Libra has already strategically, I've been on, I've been on, Libra has already strategically made a judgment to move forward. So for some of you all, I feel like this could be tied to this third party because I see all these threes here, three, three, three. I definitely feel like some of you all, this could be tied to a third party. You intuitively knowing that someone wants to move forward. Some of y'all could also be high priestess. Some of y'all could also be working magic or doing some type of moon magic to manipulate someone, possibly in Aries. Or manipulate a circumstance. Some of y'all this could have to do with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You intuitively know. This could be the mother or father of your children. You intuitively know that someone is coming forward. Some of y'all manipulating the situation to get what it is that you want out of it. In order for you to move forward. And be independently and financially stable by yourself. Which will allow you to do that work on yourself. Great shit, Libra. Because again, I for one, am in love with my light and my shadow side. And I ain't telling nobody to be no damn fool on my channel. You won't get that fucking advice from me. Not the kid, okay? So, you guys, my advice to you will be definitely to continue doing that self-love, that self-work, that healing. Seeing things for what they are, accepting things for what they are. And you don't got to be mean to a person to get your fucking point across because actions are everything. You deserve love. You are worthy of love. And you got to make sure motherfucker know that, understand it, heard it, got the motherfucking t-shirt. Or I'm out. I'm going to bounce. You understand? But in a smart way because cut me now, I'll cut you later. And it's okay. It's a lesson in every blessing. Understand that, all right? So I love you, my babies. This is what I have for my Libras for the month of April. You all, if you need that personal, that information is in the description. Hit me up, boo. Namaste.